Hey guys, it's Sonia. I uh, promised to do this video a couple of days ago for my friend Cheryl, who is getting into coloring a little bit. And she asked me what pens that I use. So I was just going to show you right quick some of the things that I use. This is one of my um, favorite color book authors, artists, I don't know what you call it, Johanna, Johanna Basford. Um, I've done Enchanted Forest. I finished that one. There's some pictures of some of those pages on my uh, Facebook page, sonographs.com. Um, I haven't done too much in this one yet, but I just I like the weight of the paper. I like how her lines are all consistent. I'm very picky about the color books that I get. I don't like thick lines on the art. Um, so, yeah. And... At the very back, I usually test my pins um, to see, okay, focus, to see if they're going to bleed through, um, just little test dots. This has this book has very little bleed through, um, a little, but not too much. So that's this one. She has several books out, and I love hers. And there's like little hidden things, little treasures you're supposed to find, and then, um, at the end, there's, you know, like a secret thing you got to figure out. So that's cool. And then this is another one I love. This guy, Peter, I don't know how to say his last name. Um, but anyway, he has a, um, a YouTube channel that I love to watch. It's called, it's just called Peter Draws. And he makes videos of himself drawing all these amazingly little detailed things. It's quite mesmerizing to watch. And his voice is so soothing. And he's real inspiring. And he talks about, um, sometimes he's just chit-chatting while he draws. And you get to see him do it. And um, then sometimes he uh, is talks about, you know, some real inspiring things. And um, how to get over artist block and things like that. So, Peter draws. Um, I love his videos. So, and this is his coloring book. And Cheryl had specifically asked me how I do little detail work. And this book is, oh my gosh, so chock full of itty bitty details. So, I've, you know, I've done a little bit in it, but not too much. So, I'm going to just talk about some of the pens that I use. Now, this book is not quite as thick. It's still got really heavy, nice paper um, and... <clears throat> Excuse me, and um, it still holds up really well, but it's not quite as thick. The good thing about this one is, um, even though it's not quite as thick, it doesn't have pictures on both sides. So even if you do get a little bit of bleed through, it's usually okay. Or you could just stick, you know, a, a scratch piece of paper underneath um, whatever you're working on, so it doesn't bleed through to the next picture. Which is really cool. And sometimes the bleed through on these things can be as cool or cooler than the actual uh, front page. So that's one. Um, and again, this one, the only thing that drives me nuts is there's not a blank page in the back. Um, sorry about that glare. There's not a blank page in the back where I can test um, my pens. It's just, you know, it just ends on one of his crazy drawings that I love so much. Anyway, um, okay, so let's talk about some pens. So this is one of the ones that I use, and I do use a whole variety of pens, as y'all know. My favorites are just the Pilot pens. So, um, you know, you can get the 07s pretty much anywhere, um, and I like these the best. I use them for spirographing. I use them for pretty much all my doodling. They're not water soluble, they're permanent, and they do not smear, and they do not bleed out. You know, like, you know what I'm talking about, like, if you put it on the piece of paper, it doesn't, like, bleed out. So, I love these, um, and, I, and they're real smooth. You can do a lot of little detail work with them. Okay, so that's, that's that. Now, that's the sevens. I also love the... Fives. Oh, my dog's fixing to go crazy because we just got a package. Oh, she didn't even hear it. <laughs> um, okay, these are the O5s. I love to use these to write with in my planner and I also, you know, do with them or whatever. But they're, the tip on these is a little bit smaller. 
so you can do a little bit more detail work. Can you see that? I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Okay. There we go. Okay, so there's that. And then you can also order these 0.38, the 0.38 pilots. I don't know how to focus my phone, y'all. Um, now, these are an itty-bitty, teeny, tiny little tip. I'm going to zoom way in and see if I can show y'all. Yeah, you can get some really tight, in some really tight spaces with these. But they also still have that good palette ink. You can still get really good coverage if you want to cover a whole area. Yeah, so, okay. And you can see that is some teeny tiny little, little holes. Um, so these, the palettes are my go-to. I mean, I also have another of the varieties of just the gel pens um, that I'll use occasionally. This one's a zebra, or I'll use the, um, let's see, I think I've got a couple of di other different ones. This Sarasa, I don't know how you say that one. I love this one in particular because I love this particular color green. It's a hard color to find. Let's zoom in a little bit on that. And, of course, this is a 7, so I'm not going to get quite as much detail on it. But I do like this color. It's not going to zoom for me. Maybe i got to zoom in and then... Oh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, there we go. I'm learning, people. This is my iPhone. Okay, so, yeah, I do love that color. And I can't get this in the pilot, so I get the, uh, that color in that Sarasa, or however you say it. Um, okay, then I also, of course, use a ton, pretty much all of the jelly rolls that they make. So, these are the um, Sakura, Sakura jelly rolls. And there's all different kinds. So I love, love, love the Stardust ones. Let's see. Here's a Stardust one um, in gold. They have the absolute sparkliest that you can get. So right here is the copper one. You see that sparkle? Oh my gosh. It's so amazing. Yeah, that's the copper one. Um, that's a, one of the blues. That's the silver, or the clear, actually. So, yeah, love, love, love these. That's the Stardust ones. There's two different packs you can get. Um, get them all. I also like the glazes. So, they look kind of like this. They have kind of a shinier tip. And they are also awesome. The ink comes out kind of transparent, so but shiny. So, like right here. So, can you see that? That blue right there? This one. Uh, this blue here. So, it's see-through. Trans it's transparent. But it's also shiny and slick. And it's fun to touch. Um, okay, so I love those. Every color. And then, I also use the souffles. So, I haven't used any of the souffles, I don't think, on this particular page. So, let me grab a scrap piece of paper. So, the souffles are... Okay, so they go on kind of wet like this. That is just a little shape. Okay, so they go on a little bit wet like that. And in a second, it's going to dry and it's going to be very opaque. Um, and very matte. All right, we'll come back to that when it dries. 
So that's those. And then they also have these moonlights. The moonlight ones. They have a little moon on them. And they just write. I know. I'm sorry. You. I should have warned you to take a Dramamine before you took this video. Watch this video. Um, these are just like really good, bright, saturated, um, almost neon-y kind of colors. And they end up being not quite that shiny when they dry. Not as shiny as the glazes. And they're a little bit more opaque than the glazes. Uh, but I do love those. They're really, really, really good thick color. Then you have the just the regular old jelly rolls. Um, and I think they're they're a point they're a 06 um, tip size. And so they're pretty good for some detail colors, uh, detail areas. So um, like, for example, let's see what I want to do with this. Now, with these, I do usually, before I start, I'll roll my tips a little bit. They, they just get the slightest bit goopy on the end. So, let's see what I want to do. Here, I'll, make, I'll circle these. Okay. But this is hard to do while I'm talking and holding the phone, so. So, that's some pretty detail work right there can you see that yeah you can so you can get in some pretty pretty detailed work with those and again they're you know they're good saturation uh, good coverage if you want to do where oh I can't find my thing in there we go if you want to do some um actual like filling in of 